my friends. Welcome to God Focus this morning. The title of today's episode, Boldly Approach the Throne. I woke yesterday morning to a daily Bible verse and short devotional. I have a dear friend who sends them to me every morning. The verse happened to be Hebrews 4 and 16. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. I've always liked this verse because it says that we can come boldly to God. We do not have to be in fear that he will reject us. He will extend his scepter to us every time because he wants to hear what we have to say. He cares about what we need. Bold means not hesitating or fearful in the face of possible danger. In times of kings, no one approached the king without a formal invitation. If they did, there were assassins waiting to behead them on the spot. The only way these bodyguards did not take someone out was for the king to stretch out his scepter. It would be dangerous to approach the throne. But God says we have access because we are his children. We can come boldly, without fear and hesitation, to make our requests known to our king. Then I turned on the prophet Julie Green. I listened to her almost every day, and the first Bible verse that she read was, you guessed it, Hebrews 4 and 16. For the past few days, she's been talking about petitioning the courts of heaven for God to return to us what the enemy has stolen. Uh, in one episode, she listed a few things like our health, our peace, our joy, any part of our faith walk, and our finances. I had plans for the day, but I felt God impressed on me to intercede for our country. People are dying every day because of the evil that has taken over this nation. We were founded as one nation under God. That is the one true and living God. That is the God with a capital G, not any of these false gods of the world, which are little G's. As I sat in my office, the Spirit of God came over me and I started weeping. He totally wrecked me. I have not been so wrecked by the Spirit of God since I attended a ministry conference over a year ago. I could not stop crying and praying. I spent a long time praying for our nation, for lost family, for restoration of things that needed to be restored. I felt compelled to keep praying for the needs that I have on my prayer wall. Once that anointing left me, I rushed to my computer to write down my thoughts. I felt like God wanted me to encourage you to come boldly to his throne. Make a list of what the enemy has taken from you and petition the courts of heaven for what you feel needs to be restored to you. We never know what our prayers may unlock. One example that comes to mind is the story of Hannah. She had a desire to have a child. She didn't understand the profound effect that child would have on the world. Samuel did many things to restore their people. He returned righteousness to the house of God. He anointed kings. He gave them words of direction from the Lord. We often have an overwhelming desire for something, but do not realize the heavenly impact of that prayer. All we know is that prayer burns within us, and God will use our surrender and our prayer to further his kingdom. Hannah prayed, and then she surrendered her son to the work of the Lord. Her prayer gave birth to the destiny of her nation. What prayer is within you that God wants you to come boldly and petition the court of heaven to receive? What may seem simple to you may change the destiny of your nation. At the least, it will make an impact on your life and those closest to you. Our God is a God of answered prayers. Philippians 4 and 6 Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. This means not to worry or be anxious about things. But with thanksgiving, we can come boldly to the throne and petition God for his help. We enter his presence with praise and thanksgiving. Once we have that connection, it is time to ask God to move upon the situations of our lives. Psalms 145 and 3. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. And his greatness is unsearchable. His greatness is unsearchable. In other words, it would take more than our lifetime to understand God. 
He is beyond fully knowing, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't try to understand his vast greatness. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be bold, be brave, and keep your God focus. Like, share, and subscribe for more encouragement. Have a wonderful day.